how to investigate social preferences. Fairness considerations are part of everyday life. If we interact with our family members, with our colleagues at the workplace, with neighbors, friends, and even if we interact with strangers, fairness considerations play a role. Take, for example, children. Children are extremely unhappy and envious if they receive less attention or gifts than their siblings. So all this is evidence that fairness considerations are important. However, knowing that fairness considerations are there and investigating them is different. It's way harder to investigate them than just to, let's say, prove that the fairness considerations exist. The problem of investigating fairness considerations is that in most real life situations, it is impossible to ambiguously isolate the impact of fairness motives. For example, skeptics could always argue that someone only played fair because she believed that this will pay off in the long run. So as you can see, it, it, it's hard to disentangle real fairness motives from long-term considerations. Maybe I do you a favor because I anticipate that you will repay it. So it's important for really investigating fairness preferences to create a controlled environment in which we can rule out all these other explanations. One way to do this is by conducting controlled laboratory experiments where you can really control for repeated interaction and rule these long-term considerations out as a possible explanation so that only fairness considerations can explain the behavior. On the right-hand side of the screen, you see a picture of the Cologne lab. And in this lab, several studies were conducted um, and controlled laboratory experiments can really help us to better understand social preferences. In the next part of this lecture, we will have a look at some of the most famous experiments that are considered with social preferences.